Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Welcome to Ancient Medicine Today. Today's broadcast, I'll be talking about what's in a hot dog, and I'm telling you right now, it will probably scare you and blow your mind, but also I'll be sharing with you what are some natural alternatives to today's hot dogs. Let's go ahead and get started and say, you know, I know a lot of people today, in fact, hot dogs are one of the most consumed foods in America today. They're served at ballparks. They're served at uh, you know roadside stands all over major cities. And really as a staple, I would say of the American diet, but unfortunately today's hot dogs don't stand up to the original of what they actually should or could be, which actually can be healthy. All right, what's, a hot, what's in a hot dog? You're gonna be surprised to find out here. By the way, hey, you should share this video with somebody because I think a lot of people don't realize what they're eating on a daily basis. Number one, corn syrup. We know that corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup, and you may not realize that when you're tasting a hot dog, did you know they're adding all of this extra sugar to it? Well, this is a main staple of what's in a hot dog, and it's genetically modified corn that's then processed into sugar. We know genetically modified foods have, have the DNA of different viruses and pesticides wired into them. So you, a lot of people, you know, if you would grab an apple and spray it with chemicals, would you eat it right away? No. A lot of people are doing that on a daily basis with their food, but what's even worse is when it's actually wired into the food, into its DNA, as is corn syrup, one of the main ingredients in hot dogs. Number two, sugar. So again, people don't think of hot dogs as being sweet, but if you taste a hot dog, it has a subtle sweetness to it because of all of the sugar and corn syrup that's added. We know the side effects of sugar are increases your risk of diabetes, increases your risk of cancer, increases your risk of heart disease, increases your risk of pretty much any disease known to man because it causes inflammation and imbalances insulin levels. When insulin gets thrown off, it can cause other hormonal issues, cortisol to increase, human growth hormone to lower, and on and on and on. These two reasons are big enough reasons to stay away from hot dogs, but we're just getting started. Number three here, we know factory farm meat, specifically pork. Now, what you get is conventional pork, and we know that pigs themselves are scavengers, okay? They love to eat worms and parasites. In fact, traditionally, with certain types of farms, they would have the, the, they would have the hogs go around and clean, clean up rotted fruit that had parasites and worms growing out of it, and that's what they ate. Really, they will eat pretty much anything out there today. I'm not even gonna mention what they, some of the stuff they roll around in, in their own stuff, and so again, Factory farm meat, primarily pork, is what's in hot dogs. And we know, and by the way, I just spent uh, hours writing an article on this about all of the parasites that pork that pigs carry and what happens to us when we actually eat the food. They're the most toxic meat and toxic animal on the planet, and that's the main farm meat. And, and that's just them if they were eating naturally. Now, in a conventional state, they are fed garbage, and they're also injected with steroids and antibiotics and growth hormones. So when you're eating conventional farm meat, especially pork, which is the worst of the worst by far, you're getting steroids, growth hormones, antibiotics, estrogen mimicking hormones. You're getting all of this bad type of omega-6 fats which cause inflammation, unhealthy types of saturated fat, and a number of other chemicals, all from getting this factory farm meat, not to mention parasites actually in the food you're eating. That's a big enough reason to stay away from hot dogs, but again, we're not done yet. Number four here, nitrates and nitrites, especially when you're eating something like a pork bacon, it's full of these chemicals that cause histamine reactions, actually damage the health of your heart and your cardiovascular system and increase your risk of, uh, of bacteria, of uh, gut damage, increasing your risk of autoimmune disease, all from nitrates and nitrites. Number five here, phosphoric acid or phosphates. Now this is a chemical family that is used in the treatment of several conditions, but it's been linked to nausea, vomiting, um, diarrhea, and a number of other digestive disturbances there as well. Number six are just fillers in general. 
Again, one of the things they're adding to hot dogs a lot of times even is corn flour and other fillers, more genetically modified material, and that's what gives it sort of its more fluffy texture. Think about it. If you have a steak or that type of meat, it's a very specific, again, it's more chewy, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a certain texture. The texture of a hot dog, you can tell, it's this mixture of this chemically farmed pork along with sugar, along with other chemicals, along with a lot of times GMO corn or soy. A lot of times there's soy in there as well that makes it kind of that mesh. If you ever had like tofu or tempeh, that sponginess, that's typically from a soybean or processed wheat. So, so many hot dogs have three of the biggest allergens in the world of, of processed wheat, soybeans, and GMO corn all in there as part of the fillers you're gonna have in a hot dog. And number seven, actually the DNA of humans has actually been found in hot dogs. Talk about toxic to the body. So again, listen, here's the good news, is that you can find healthier alternatives. You know, what I would recommend is going and looking for several uh, options here. One, buy organic, okay, when you're buying a type of a hot dog. Number two, look for beef hot dogs that are made with 100% beef. So organic beef hot dogs or, organic or, or kosher hot dogs, that's what you wanna buy. Those are much better options. There are also turkey and chicken hot dogs or bratwurst or things like that. But again, you wanna look for kosher or organic, one of the two, kosher or organic, and made with 100% meat like beef, or bison, or chicken, if you're buying hot dogs. So listen, on this video, I'm not telling you never to consume a hot dog. I'm saying never consume a conventional hot dog. Instead, go for organic, go for kosher, go for all natural types of meat, ideally grass-fed like beef. And again, you're gonna be much healthier for it. So again, listen, nobody ever benefited from it. And again, I know hot dogs taste great, but you know what? I'm telling you right now, I prefer, I've had a grass-fed beef hot dog not too long ago, actually a couple months ago when I was in Florida, and you know what? It tasted better than that conventional junk out there. So again, you can find healthier alternatives out there, I guarantee it. Guys, hey, if you've enjoyed this live video, hey, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, you can simply do that by clicking the subscribe button. Hey, if you wanna learn more about hot, hot dogs, I wrote an article on this on my website, drax.com. If you just search Dr. Axe Hot Dogs, you'll find the article in depth there. Make sure to sh share this with your friends, family, and loved ones so they know the truth about hot dogs and what to do instead. Hi, Dr. Axe wanna say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.